Wait a minute. Hit me. Uh, let me put this cup down. Wait a minute. Hit me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have a really exciting video for you guys. Today I am going to be doing an entire laundry room reorganization and decorate with me. This was a labor of love. Tawny is the one in our household who does majority of the laundry, if not all of it. And I wanted to make the laundry room a little bit more enjoyable to be in. It was very, very, <laughs> very <laughs> unorganized. Nothing was in like had a set place. I had random stuff in here. I had to pull everything out and reorganize the whole thing. I did go to at home and home goods for a lot of the containers you'll see in this video. First things first, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. Um, I love this this kind of, I like watching these kinds of videos, so I was like, why not create one myself? Don't forget to let me know if you enjoyed this. And if you want to see more of these, I'll be sure to do some more. And let's get into the video. Okay, so first of all, I apologize for this yellow lighting if that's how it's appearing on camera but I want to give you guys a quick overview of the laundry room as it stands um, got some lint on the floor uh, I have a step stool here um, this is the shelving the shelves in here match the kitchen shelves downstairs but they also um, are you're able to also move the shelves around um, quite a bit I have a bunch of random stuff I've got Christmas bags, a random cloth, a box, um, tile and grout stuff, just a bunch of random. There's no organization behind this whatsoever, as you can see. And so hopefully today I'll be able to fix this. Over here are our hampers where we have the different, um, you know, our cold, whites, and our warm, you know, colors, lights, darks, light, whatever. Colors, whites, darks, and lights, I guess all in here um so i'm going to keep this here there's just two hampers i'm not in love with these i do intend on switching these out at some point just not right now but just for the purposes of the video i'm going to pull these out so i can vacuum the floor uh, make some adjustments and then start rearranging things and getting things organized so here we go hey guys so here i am starting to just remove things from these shelves you don't really realize how much stuff you have on your have in your possession until you actually have to remove it, organize it, go through it, figure out what you're going to do with it, and then reorganize it. So this whole video is all sped up, and I wish it could be sped up like live when I was actually recording it. But today, yeah, I just had to get through this stuff because I was this this laundry room was actually a complete eyesore for me um, and here I have some random car air fresheners pulling out some extra dryer sheets I didn't know we had some toilet bowl cleaner that you know didn't know we had a bunch of them Tony had bought them in bulk some random towel and then I'm leaving a bottle of stuff up at the top so I'm taking the stuff that I pulled off the shelves and I'm actually putting it on the floor outside of the laundry room. Our laundry room isn't that big as you guys can see, but um, yeah, I just removed everything so that I could see the space I, could, I had to work with. Um, and then I was able to kind of figure out how I wanted to organize things. As you guys can see, I just removed everything off of the shelves. If there are things that I felt like are not going to move, I will just leave them up there on the top shelf. I got I have some Swiffer wet jet wipes up there and I also have some tile and grout cleaner for stone um, and tile obviously um, up there at the top and I don't feel like those are gonna move so I just moved those out the sh shelves are relatively are very clean we have not done very much with this room since we moved in besides obviously washing clothes so the shelves are clean there's nothing really to wipe down besides the tops of these um, washing machines and the dryer washer and dryer and then I'm going to right now just vacuum really quickly pull these out and get working on the actual organization portion of the video 
So after vacuuming and wiping down the actual machines themselves, I began to organize the glass containers I had um, to be filled with detergent, some uh, fabric softener and that white bottle, the white downy bottle. Um, and then I kind of just started arranging things and seeing how I wanted them to be, how I wanted them to sit inside of the cabinet. Um, I thought this was really cool because I've seen this on Pinterest, I've seen it all over YouTube. Uh, I thought it was a really great idea. I also brought in some bleach and some white vinegar, which are both really great cleaning and defunkifying agents. <laughs> so I just decided to use these glass bottles that I got from at home. The two jars that are currently sitting in the cabinet um, are from at, no, they're all from at home. I'm lying. All four jars, the two bottles and the two jars are in the glass, like drink dispensers are from at home. Um, and so I'm filling one with bleach, I'm filling the other with uh, white vinegar, and then you guys are going to see me fill the other two containers, the drinking jug things, with detergent and fabric softener. Um, I really enjoyed doing this. This was actually really, like, um, satisfying for me. Um, and I also went in late later with some labels so that Tanya knew where everything was and what everything could be used for. So here's a shot of the fabric softener and the detergent in their respective jars. And here I'm just adding, I bought or found this cookie jar at um, Home Goods, And so I'm filling up this jar with the um, downy, like, scent booster bead thingies. Um, I thought these were really neat and I wanted to kind of like display them in a really cool way. So I thought that a cookie jar would be, would be dope to add to the mix. Um, I thought it would be fun to kind of add some color to um, the laundry room as well when you open up the cabinets. And it's an easy way for Tony to just take that scoop I bought with it, that got that from at home, and add it in so you could just scoop it in and put it into the wash. And here's my setup. Um, you know, I ended up kind of rearranging this later on, and I rearranged a lot of things <laughs> during this video. So um, I just wanted to show you guys. Here I have a basket of just wipes, like wet wipes, um, just for, you know, personal use. Um, we have, we always buy those in bulk, um, some excess bleach and vinegar, I'm putting that on top. Um, here I changed the angle so you guys can see a little bit better. Got some towels, some microfiber towels um, that I just put into a basket. All of these baskets got labels. Um, some extra cleaning supplies went into the bottom uh, right side and then also a bunch of extra cleaning products went on to this lazy susan that i found which i thought was really neat um i also liked uh i also found some additional um dryer sheets so i decided to store those in a small basket and put that on top of the dryer and then created labels for each of the containers you see in the video giving you guys a shot of each of the labels. I had some excess Tide Pods that I had no place to put. Um, I'm just showing you guys each of the labels. I made them with my Lego label maker that I used in my, uh, what was it, the Bill Pay Station video. And um, yeah, I have some extra cleaning products like I showed you guys and excess detergent. I made, ended up making a label for the dryer balls right there in the corner. And as a final touch, I wanted to be sure to include a little laundry sign in our laundry room. Our walls are pretty bare in here, as you guys saw. And so um, I thought it would be a, great, a nice touch to add this sign. I also wanted to be sure to include a little place to add change and little knickknacks. And of course, the dryer balls I showed you guys just now. Um, here is an overall look of the entire project in its completed state, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will be sure to see you guys in the next video. Peace.